Welcome to another episode of the Plant-Based Jan Adventure Series. I'm going to take you inside a mini volcano. Today we are in Craters of the Moon National Monument. Check this out. whether or not to even do this part because we're pulling our trailer turns out that trailers are very welcome in here um, the maximum length is 73 feet it's very easy lots of pullouts in the parking lot and the other thing is is we just didn't have very much time today we were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had enough what keeps you up at night, yeah. make all the demons quiet yeah. we were built what's thrive, a few lava yeah. fields right wrong go there it's beyond cool who knew this intense landscape of volcanic landforms lava tube caves cinder cones tree molds and where fields of impossible flowers bloom on black rock is right in the southeastern part of idaho i certainly didn't the size of this monument is about the size of rhode island Craters of the Moon National Monument is located in the United States in the southeastern part of Idaho State. The largest cities are Boise to the west and Twin Falls, and then Salt Lake City is to the southeast. There's many amazing small little towns all around dotted in between, and it's also about 200 miles from the west entrance of Yellowstone. If you ever wanted to get a feel for the big island of Hawaii, come walk these extensive lava fields and just substitute the pine trees for palm trees and then go find yourself a nice pool because we're in the middle of Idaho and just imagine that it's sea breezes. It's roughly a seven mile loop of just a perfectly maintained road. They say the limit if you're in an RV is 73 feet, so that's gonna be fine for most folks. Here's the campground, very unique tents, trailers, RVs, camping among the volcanic features. And I love these black curbs. We're not on the moon, we're on an inferno cone. Let's head up. It's steep, but pretty easy walking. You can tell this is soft. Look at the little path that's worn. Okay, check this out. We're at the top of this inferno cone. Do you know what that is? It's where the volcano shoots straight up and then rains down like a mist of black rocks. These formations are splatter cones or miniature volcanoes. You ready? Let's go. These mini volcanoes are so cool because you can see them in great detail.
Unfortunately, I have a quick disclaimer, especially for the kids, there's no active volcanic activity right now, no molten lava, even though it's on the signs, nothing has happened for centuries. In the 1920s, these mini volcanoes looked like that. Now, they've eroded and have the edges worn out. just gradient colors of the white flowers on the black and I'll show you an up close view of these. Flowers grow everywhere. Beauty is everywhere. Look at a close up. Craters of the Moon encompasses the entire Great Rift Volcanic Zone, 50 miles of fractures and eruptions. There are more than 500 documented caves in the park if you want to go underground. There's different types of caves like lava tubes, fissure caves. This trail leads to a few of the different caves that you can access on your own. There's four of them. The most popular is Indian Cave. It's 800 feet long, 50 feet high in some areas with some skylights. We didn't choose to go on the cave area on this trip because we didn't get the free permit at the entrance and we also just weren't prepared. You need a strong flashlight and you really just want to have enough time to spend to, to do it. And we didn't on this trip, but it's a very popular part of the park. This is called the Devil's Orchard Tour or area. Um, it's a little loop and the landscape behind me is just spectacular. It's all around me. Here's a couple of shots of it. This amazing area in southeast Idaho first hit the national scene in the 1920s when the National Geographic ran a huge spread thanks to explorer R.W. Limbert who spent a lot of time there taking photographs and writing all about what he found. So it's time for lunch and I couldn't have designed this better at the beginning of the day not even knowing uh, that we were going to stop here. While in Idaho, eat potatoes, of course. So good, so nutritious, full of plant protein, fiber, and nine essential amino acids at a low price point. While 13 billion pounds are harvested here, I bought just a couple pounds for lunch. The growing conditions are ideal, warm days, cool nights, and rich volcanic soil all around us. For lunch today, we're boring, but this is our absolute favorite. We've got the epic potato salad. It's got uh, white potatoes, lots of ranch dressing, lots of parsley, celery, black olives, pepperoncinis, uh, pickles, of course, and I made a lot of it, so. We didn't cover everything. It's very deserving of a full day. So this gives you a good overview of it. Thanks so much for coming along. If you like this video, please subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments and questions about this greatest adventure we call life. I'll see you next time.